Hello, and welcome back to It's All Interventional. Today, we're going to go over some anatomy and physiology definitions. Now, these are words we use every day, all the time, but there's still a bit of confusion. We're going to look at antegrade and retrograde, and contralateral and ipsilateral. According to the online dictionary website, medical dictionary, thefreedomdictionary.com, antegrade means in the direction of normal movement, as in blood flow or peristalsis. This is in the flow of normal traffic. If I'm at a stop sign and there's a right turn only lane and it's a one way traffic and I turn right at that stoplight, I am growing antegrade with the normal flow of traffic. Conversely, from the same source, retrograde is moving backwards or against the usual direction of flow. If I were to stop at that same stop sign with a one way only going right, but I turn left, I am now going retrograde against the normal flow of traffic. Thankfully, in the medical world, the consequence might not be so disastrous, but the terms are still important to know what they exactly mean. For instance, if I were to place a needle in the back, and put it to the kidney and put a nephroureteral stent down that kidney to the bladder, that would be an antegrade approach. The catheter is being placed in the direction of the urine flow. Also, if I were to take that catheter and put it through the urethra up through the bladder to the ureter to the kidney, that then would be a retrograde approach. It's going against the normal flow of urine. Another example is a puncture of the common femoral artery with the needle punctured towards the direction of the aorta. The blood is flowing down the aorta, down to the legs. If a needle is punctured that coming from an artery towards the aorta, it is going against the flow of blood. It is going in a retrograde fashion. If I take a needle and puncture that same leg and that same artery, but point the needle towards the foot, then that puncture is antegrade. That puncture is going in the direction of the normal flow of blood in an antegrade direction. And it's very important to know what system you're working in. Because if I punctured a femoral vein and went the same direction being towards the head or towards the foot, the antegrade and retrograde would be different. Arterial blood is flowing from the aorta down the legs, but venous blood is flowing towards the IVC from the legs itself. This common femoral vein puncture pointing towards the IVC is now antegrade because the blood is flowing towards the IVC. If I were to take that needle and go down towards the foot, that puncture is now retrograde because it's going against the flow of normal venous blood flow. So when you think of antegrade or retrograde, you've got to consider the puncture site, where it's located, as well as the body system that you're in to know what direction that you're going. Whether it's percutaneous or open is not really relevant, but what direction are you going with your needle, with your catheter, your sheath, your wire? in that body system to understand, are you going retrograde or antegrade? Antegrade is with the normal flow of traffic. Retrograde is against the normal flow of traffic. Now let's look at ipsilateral and contralateral. These two words are also directly related to your axis site of which you're using. Now, according to the same online dictionary source, ipsilateral is generally defined as situated on or affecting the same side. If I puncture a right femoral artery, any vessel that I go to from that right puncture site in that right leg, whether it's distal or proximal, antegrade or retrograde, are all considered ipsilateral because it's on the same side as that punctured site. Contralateral is defined as pertaining to, situated on, or affecting the opposite side. If I were to take that catheter from that right leg and place it anywhere on the left leg, then that catheter tip or that wire tip or device tip is now contralateral to that right leg's puncture site. We started on the right leg, we ended on the left leg. The left leg is contralateral to the right leg puncture site. So it's key again to know from where your access site was to where your devices, your wires, your sheaths, your catheters ended up at. It's the vessels on the left leg, it's the catheterizations on that left leg 
It's the end point of your stent on that left leg that is contralateral to the puncture site on the right leg. Okay, now let's level up just a little bit. So it's very important you do not mix and match definitions, but you have to know your access site and you have to know your end point of whatever you're working with. We're going to define this last example a little bit deeper. So this right common femoral artery puncture site, the puncture site is ipsilateral retrograde on the right. But the catheter tip that went retrograde up to the aorta and then over to the left leg, that catheter tip is now contralateral. The common femoral artery puncture site of that right leg, the puncture itself is retrograde right ipsilateral retrograde right on the right side going retrograde against blood flow up toward the aorta. But that catheter is now traveling down the left leg. It is contralateral and the tip of the catheter is going anti-grade down the left leg. All right, level three now. Here we see both the right and left coming from our arteries are accessed. The right coming from our artery access site is punctured retrograde right and it's ipsilateral and it stops at the right external iliac. The left puncture site is retrograde left. The catheter went retrograde on the left side up towards the aorta, cross the aorta, and is now going on the contralateral right leg, contralateral from the left puncture site, down the right leg to that right external iliac. The right external iliac catheterization is contralateral to the left common femoral puncture site, but the right external iliac is ipsilateral to the right puncture site. The right external iliac has been catheterized from both an ipsilateral and contralateral access site, but it's the same vessel. Each access point and each catheterization needs to be defined distinctly and separately from each other. When you're trying to describe an access site or catheterization, you have to first consider one, your puncture site. Where did this access begin? You also have to consider the body system that you're in. Are you arterial? Are you venous? And understand whether it's retrograde or antegrade. Very important there. And then you also have to determine third, where your end point was, the end of your sheath, the end of your diagnostic catheter, the end of your stent, your wire, your balloon. Um, Whatever device you're using, atherectomy device, you have to consider where did that stop to know how to fully define this access and this catheterization point. When you have identified each of these points correctly, then you can know whether it's antegrade or retrograde, ipsilateral or contralateral. Now, keep in mind, just because you have identified all these points does not mean each of these things have their own charges. That's a whole different video to talk about those. However, every access site should have its own definition. Each access site is defined separately. Also, every catheterization, even if it's from the same access site as a different catheterization, should each be defined separately from the starting point to its final end point. And again, how and when each of these are charged is another video, but the definition of each of these should be defined separately and distinctly from each other. I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe got something new out of it. Please do know that every generic video will be followed later by a much more in-depth video to cover these topics. And if there's anything else that you want to know about, anything you want to see reviewed or discussed, please leave it in the comments below. So please do like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And stick around. because There's a lot more great stuff on the way. <laughs> Got to go for now. Special Scott, I'll see you next time on It's All Intervention.